Ancient Reptilians, The Unanswered Mystery of the 7,000-Year-Old Ubaid Lizard Men. Let's remember that we have ancient legends, mythology. For example, in ancient India, the top man being half man, the bottom half, half snake. But also the uh, ancient Greek mythology of the uh, seductive viper, half woman on top and half snake on the bottom. And uh, she was enticing men uh, to their deaths. And this is Greek mythology, but who knows? Was it mythology or was it actually reality? And also the first king of Athens, Greece, Erechtheus, half man, half snake. So what's going on here? Archaeologists excavated in Iraq at the beginning of the 20th century made an unusual discovery when they unearthed several 7,000-year-old artifacts which appeared to represent humanoid figures with reptilian features. It's commonly accepted view in mainstream archaeology that civilization started in ancient Mesopotamia with the great civilization of Sumer in what is now modern-day Iraq. However, in the beginning of the 20th century, archaeologists excavated at Tel al-Ubaid in Iraq, and they made an unusual discovery when they unearthed several 7,000-year-old artifacts which appeared to represent humanoid figures with reptilian features. Now let's remember we have had several Earth extinction events in the past, or near-Earth extinction events, the last one being a, a super uh, volcano eruption 26,500 years ago from the North Island uh, volcano of New Zealand. And anthropologists believe that only a thousand couples of human homo sapiens were left after that eruption. Now, understanding Ubaidan culture. The Ubaidan culture is a prehistoric culture in Mesopotamia that dates back between 4,000 and 5,500 BC, seven and a half thousand years ago. As with the Sumerians, the origins of the Ubaidian people is unknown. They lived in large village settlements in mud brick houses and they had developed architecture, agriculture, and farmed the land using irrigation. The domestic architecture of the Ubaidians included large T-shaped houses, open courtyards, paved streets, as well as food processing equipment. According to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, some of these villages began to develop into towns, temples began to appear, as well as monumental buildings such as in Eridu and Ur, Ur was uh, the uh, or original uh, home, uh, homeland of Abraham, as we know, before he came to the Promised Land. So uh, buildings such as in Eridu and Ur and Uruk, the major sites of the Sumerian civilization. Sumerian texts explain that Ur was believed to be the first city. Discovered Ubaid lizardmen figurines at Tel al-Ubaid, the main site where the unusual artifacts were discovered is called Tel al-Ubaid, although figurines were also found in Ur and Eridu. The al-Ubaid site is a small mound of about half a kilometer, 0.3 miles in diameter, and two meters above ground, that's about seven feet above ground. First excavated by Harry Reginald Hall in 1919, male and female figurines were found in different postures most of the figurines appear to be wearing a helmet and have some kind of padding on the shoulders. Other figurines were found to hold a staff or a scepter, possibly as a symbol of justice and ruling. Each figurine has a different pose, but the strangest of all is that some female figures hold babies suckling their milk, while the child also represented as a lizard-type creature. Ubaid lizardmen, the prehistoric lizard figurines. The figurines are presented with long heads, almond-shaped eyes, long tapered faces, and a lizard tape type nose. What exactly they represent is completely unknown. According to archaeologists, their postures, such as a female figure breastfeeding, do not suggest that they were ritualistic objects. So what did these Ubaid lizardmen represent? These reptilians. Whatever they were, they appear to have been important to the ancient Ubaidian people. We know that the serpent was a major symbol used in many societies to represent a number of gods. For example, 
the Sumerian god Enki, and the snake was later used um, as the symbol for the Brotherhood of the Snake, supposedly an ancient secret society. Is there a link between the symbol of the snake and the representations of lizards? For now, these questions remain unanswered. And this was from uh, Ancient Reptilians from Ancient Origins on Collective Spark by Nathan Fold. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.